Welcome to my humble little kitchen. Today, I'm gonna make use of this white bread. Slice the Italian bread. And these apples. I'm gonna bake them in here. Gonna be something following grandma recipe. It is called many different names. I remember grandma called it Schmarrn. She also called it Scheiterhaufen. It is known on the world wide web as Scheiterhaufen. But she she used it as in in a variety of ways. She even called it uh, Kaiser Schmarrn when she used rum raisins in it. Today I have no raisins, so I cannot use raisins, and I don't have much bread. So I cannot use a big, uh, a big, um, what do you call that thing, baking form. This is very, very small. Here yeah, are some other ingredients. I got only margarine. I don't know that grandma used butter. In Germany, Grandma would always use unsweetened butter for every baking that she did. I'm going to just use now about unsalted. Did I say unsweetened? Mm. Oh man, I'm talking bullshit here. Why is there something on this? Stick. Yeah, Amanda, why don't you help me making this recording here? No. no. So here is some margarine and it should be butter. To butter that full. So that stuff will not I cannot use raisins because I have no raisins. Yeah, one thing what grandma would do is have, first of all, have a big round baking dish. And she would cover the whole thing in bread on the outer edge but I don't have that much bread I have only the half a loaf of old white bread so I'm gonna cover it in bread crumbs to make sure it doesn't stick ah. Oil it hangs now. Yeah. I wonder how long it's going to take me to correct that stuff. So, in breadcrumbs. You say use breadcrumbs. Where are my breadcrumbs? Here are the breadcrumbs. I hope that will help so it does not stick to the form. And then I need that's too many breadcrumbs. A little bit back. What a mess. Look. I need a plate. Where's a plate? Let me get a plate. Red is kind of soft, you don't want soap, you just, 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 just. Annette, if 
you know how to do it. Why don't you do it? You're just thinking. Yeah. You and your thinking. How about action? I remember grandma would always soak the bread. Not just it Okay. Grandma would soak it. But that was hard bread. Yes. Sweet bark. And first layer of bread. I need to take this. You would peel the, 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 the apple. Peel the apple. Okay. Yeah. Need only one and a half bread that way. I know she had bread all around it, but you say skip it. Okay, I skip it. Peel the apple. Come here. Where's my peel? Peel and cutter. Cut. Peel. Then we put those. In here, look, no. I'm peeling the apple. Scheiterhaufen is the official name. It's a recipe that came from Slavia. Mom came from a country that does not even exist anymore. Yugoslavia, it used to be called. Yugoslavia is where mom came from and grandma was Slavic. Half Hungarian. Half Hungarian. So grandma actually spoke Hungarian and she spoke Russian. Besides German she also spoke Yiddish, Russian, Yiddish, German, Hungarian, she spoke all kinds of different languages and so she used all kinds of different words for that thing that she baked for us all the time. She would call it Kaiserschmann every time when she puts rum raisins in it because rum raisins or rum tops, rum tops would go on top something that is called Kaiserschmann. But this thing is not a Kaiserschmann. The Slavic name for it, we don't even... Mama would call it Urman. Yeah, Amaman. Mama would call it Amaman. And that Ooh. is probably because poor people, that's all they have, some apple and grape. And then they bake in it, and that's good enough for a poor man's meal. Okay. I should preheat the oven. Already? Well, I got the first layer in there. Apple. Oh, cinnamon. Annette, I got my hands dirty. Would you please... Oh. Come and help. Find your cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar needs to be sprinkled on there right now. Oh, where's the cinnamon? Here, Here somewhere. The, oh, you're gonna keep my over the bone. Yep. No, the cinnamon is here. Here's the cinnamon. And here's the sugar. Now get me a cup and mix that together. 
Cinnamon and sugar do you want? A whole bunch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The wet spoon. Mm. Take a dry spoon. That's why I'm a bacon them. Mm-hmm. And the rest we of the cinnamon and the sugar. Fish, but now I have this one by that. Hey, the, 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 what are you looking for? The thing here. So when it's the rest of the cinnamon can go in that sprinkler. Uh-huh. The rest of the cinnamon and sugar. So we have it available whenever we make grease fry or something. Anything where we have cinnamon and sugar on it, put it in that sprinkler. Yeah, but first, I don't know. I will see how much we need here. Yeah, crank it up and have all the cinnamon and sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I still love my alcohol. <laughs> Dip them in rum. Yes, yeah, she yeah, had rum flavor, not real rum. Oh, yeah, that is real rum. Want me to get the rum out? No, no. I don't have a raisin. There would be a sprinkle of raisins on top of the apple. And mm -hmm. dip into rum. Rum aroma. Mm hmm. Yeah, Grandma couldn't have any rum in the house because of Uncle Gusta. It would not last long. It would not last longer until he detected it. You can't have rum with an alcohol. I'm going to put a piece of bread on the side. Why? Because Grandma always had it like that. Grandma had it on the side. Yeah, that's how grandma had it. Do we mix it up? Yeah, and then apple. you got the apple slices pretty thick. I should cut them smaller, you think? So they bake better, right? I need more apple. Why is this apple not cut yet? And that one is not peeled right? Oh my gosh. Hmm. I kind of wish more alone. Got to preheat the oven. Thick start. What temperature? It's 350, that's what mm -hmm. it comes on. 
Your son's about to write. More cinnamon now? Yes, please. I think I got enough apple here. More cinnamon now. Cover it. Let them do another layer. Yes, of course. But let me wipe my hand. All covered in cinnamon. You sprinkle cinnamon all over the oven. That's what we clean it for when it's done. Okay. One. Two. Squeeze it in. How about that? Squeeze it in. Shall we make another layer? Mm -hmm. You can make it here four. All right. Three pieces of bread. And you cover in milk. Press it down a little bit. And put more apple on there. Mm -hmm. Another apple. Hello, apple. Hello. I want to slice you. Can I slice you, you apple? You? No, he's talking to apples. Well, at least the apple doesn't talk back to me any nasty stuff. You know? If I talk to you, you talk about me. If you talk about you, it's always me. The apple doesn't do that to me. The apple mm -hmm. is a nice apple. Okay. So what shall we call it? Armor man? Scheiterhaufen. Scheiterhaufen. Scheiterhaufen comes from the word uh, uh, from, from way back in the middle in the middle in the evil ages we would burn Hexen um Scheiterhaufen. Um, yeah, burn, burn the witches on a pile of wood. Yeah, a shiitown is a pile of combustible material. Mm -hmm. uh, we put a stick on and burn the witches. So if you don't do that right, we're going to turn you into a shiitown witch. I don't think so. <laughs> It's called a Scheiterhaufen because it is made of layers of combustible material. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not combustible. Apples are not combustible, are they? No, they're just to flavor it. No, Scheiterhaufen would be usually wood pieces. I wonder if we would be able to get the original name. I know that Mama called it Amama. Poor man's meal. Mm hmm And Grandma called it all kinds of different names. In any language she could mind. think on. Yeah, because she did speak about five different languages. But she, she was did. not allowed to speak them. Because, because of Daddy wanted us to speak high German. We were not allowed to speak anything except no slang. No. Not no. even the local slang was supposed to speak perfect German. Not and Mama's not Hungarian or anything. And then when I had to learn English, I didn't want it anymore. Yeah, and then we had to learn English. Man, what a terrible language. Everything they say, backwards. They don't even say table. They say table. They spell it table and say table. Yeah, why do they... Call it something else and they spell it. The alphabet is not alphabetic, it's A B C. It's Even though in America the R is still an R, oh, and it's not a. America, it's America. Okay, mm. okay, here we are speaking English and, and putting cinnamon and sugar instead of sugar. cinnamon and sugar. No, zint and sugar. And now on top has to be bread. Yep. I know the top layer has to be bread. And Look. that we could so uh, uh, put a mm. egg on it. Right. Well, put it on there first. I'm out of milk. Bring an egg out. Will you please? 
Something to what? Burst of the ice or I don't have a burster. Um, pencil. No, I uh, don't have a pencil. I don't have a burster. Uh, uh, the ice and that's a way. A brush. A brush. A brush. A brush. No, I don't have a brush. I'm sure we have some. Some right here. Yeah, I have a paintbrush in the basement. <laughs> no, not that. Yes, what we can do. We can just roll it on there. Roll it on Sint there. Sukkar. On top? On top. Yes. Okay. Oops, it's all gone outside. You're supposed to put it on the bread. Let me, let me get a brush. I have no brush, okay? I can squeeze this in here a little bit. Let me use a spoon. Let me clean this. I don't like my stove smoking so dirty. I already Easy. feel better. Now put the rest of the egg on that part. Why did that towel fall down? Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. <laughs> Come on, put that egg on there. Where there is none. Yeah, there you go. Next time when you go shopping, get me one of those. I'm sure. I, I'm sure I, don't. I had one here. No, I don't. I never ever seen one. I don't sure, know. I had one somewhere. I've mm -hmm. never seen one. There. Sprinkles for is it not down there somewhere? No. Okay. Central sugar on top. What are you doing? Sprinkling central sugar. You don't sprinkle. You shake too much. <laughs> hey, that's how you sprinkle. Okay. And the rest I'm gonna pour in this jar. And yeah. this thing is going in the oven. Let's take a look at the clock. Oh, that thing is dirty on the bottom. It is 4.25 that I stepped in. Open sesame! Whoa, how that works! <laughs> Put it a little straight in there. Thank you. So it evenly cooks. So it evenly cooks. And he has a little bit simple to the the video for the next Let time. Let me you pause the video. Simple sugar. Continuing with the video. There we fall from over. Um, you want to make it, you say? Huh? So, Grandma always had vanilla sauce going over it, but hot vanilla sauce. That means you need cooked pudding. We and don't, we don't have, have that. The we have only Dr. Oetker vanilla sauce. We don't have it. We have instant vanilla pudding, pudding. not sauce. We got a trick. We got a trick. Yes. Yeah. Where is that? that cup of milk. Cup of milk. Oh, I need this. This, I this, you this, this here. That's exactly two cups of milk. It is. it is. And you need milk. I need milk. Is it not enough? We have no milk. 
two cups exactly. Uh, yeah, thanks for the drop. That's a, a cup. Maybe that's not a cup. Okay. It's supposed to be two cups of pudding, but we want sauce. I'll right. show you the trick. Show me the trick. How do you measure two cups of milk? That's supposed to be all pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. First, we mix that pudding pulver. Mm -hmm. All in here. And that's a lazy it. pudding. Lazy pudding. You know that's not the way I would make a pudding. But let me take a fork and cook and cook that thing. Yep, mm -hmm. the apples are still hard. Let it Once continue. Only what? Twenty minutes? Supposed to be about forty minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crash. Crash. Okay. And I'll just get the pudding well so it's not clumping. The book test says we are far from done. Okay, let it bake. I just make that pudding so well, oh. and we want sauce. Like, yeah, well, so right now, put sauce over. And make sure there are no clumps in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah no hair yeah. in there. <laughs> no hair in there. No clumps in the pudding. Now, this is two cups of pudding. I want approximately. A little more than a cup. Okay. Pudding. Pudding. Put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge. Pudding okay. for dessert. Pudding for dessert. And now we want approximately half a cup of more milk. Mm, yes. That is a... You take my coffee cup. Oh, don't worry, I mean, Approximately, yeah, a little more. There, can put mm -hmm. it back. Are you sure you had enough? That's a little more than half a cup, and that is one cup. So one and a half cup of milk in that half cup of pudding pulver. Mm -hmm. And now it's sauce. Now it's pudding sauce. Vanilla pudding. sauce. Vanilla sauce. And the kitchen is a mess. I'm good at that. You are really good at that. Yeah. But we have about a cup and a half vanilla sauce, vanilla sauce to top off our um, shadowfen. Shadowfen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yum, yum. That dirt makes good. The dirt tastes good. <laughs> that dirt okay. tastes good. There's a pudding pulver. Pudding pulver. Hey, over you the place. On the microwave. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah. Pause that but video it's again. Well steered. Pause. Here we go. It's continuing to record. It has been 45 minutes. Close to it. Turn it off. But uh, where's the off? Here. Off. Yeah. I'm gonna take it out. Take it out. Top floppin. Pot holder. Top floppin. Pot holder. Here's what it looks like. Nice okay. and brown on the top. I think so. Let me poke it. The, the apples are. The apples are soft. And the bread on top is very hard. Well, that's why we cover it with the Go get sauce. a couple of plates. Let it cool for a moment. Get a couple of plates. This is the sauce. The sauce is almost like pudding. I remember mom, uh, mom and this friend Marie. Or it's a small, bigger one. Big, big plate. And I need so we're gonna put it in this. Yeah. Okay. Cut it in half. Yeah. Uh, it is too hot. I would say that's why it's cool. 
Top. Flappen. Pack. Oh, los. Crunch. Und It's top. only on the top. The top is crunchy. I'm gonna get me some out. I wonder if it sticks to the form or if it comes out. I want some. I want some. I want it now. This is pork. It's not coming out. I said let it cool. But I'm hungry. But you're always I'm hungry. hungry. Cold. I'm always hungry. I got it, I got it, I got it. How about I take this top layer off? Like that. Boy, are you complicated. And then scoop it. Why is it not coming out? It's stuck to the foil. Why is it stuck to the foil? I did put butter on there. I mean, margarine. There we go. Look at all that apple stuff. Why is it not coming out? Because it's too hot. Mmm. Yeah. But the apples are soft. Here, yeah, I got about half of it. The apples are soft and the bread is hard. Maybe we should have put more milk over it. You know what? Just turn it around and dump it on there. <laughs> is it hard? Oh, okay. worry. We got cool vanilla sauce to put on top. Hey. And you have it all over the plate. That's terrible. We need to put that vanilla sauce over the plate. You gotta learn to cook a little cleaner. Yeah, that's true. One of we things. have only a one by two foot um I bet you it's more than a foot. I bet you it's a foot and ten inches. Here's vanilla sauce. Mm-hmm. Substitute of vanilla sauce. Substitute. And now I need a fork. And I'm gonna eat that. Mm -hmm. I think we Ooh. can shut that video off.